Okay, so moving on to step 35, painting the body. There we go. Um, this is what we're going to need to do first. Um, but you'll also notice that we are now into bag D, um, which is all of the parts and screws and everything that are going to be in this. Um, this bag's going to pretty much finish off the build. So let's just take a look at the body first. So here's the body as it comes in the kit. And these are the other two pieces that will be attached to the body. I have decided I'm not going to leave it just like it came. I am going to paint it uh, the Italian red, which is the color that um, they want you to paint it. I, I was debating whether to switch it up, um, do a different color, red, etc. But I've decided as this is my first monster beetle build i want to do it as much to the original as i can so decided on the ts8 so let's go and paint the body Okay, so the body is done. I don't know whether you can tell um, how different this is, but it is very different um, because all of the blemishes of the molding process and everything else are out of it now. So this is very clean. Like it's just nice red, shiny, clean, no blemishes um, or, you know, for the imperfections in the mold process. So this looks great. So let's move on to step 36, which is the front ma mask. And you can see that we're going to put on the, uh, the fog lighting. Uh, we're going to put on the, the front um, piece as well, which was also painted. Now I've gone ahead while I was painting that a few and done a few things. I've put together the front fog light bracket that is going to attach to the front. And I've also taken the um, front piece that we also painted, and I've, all, I've painted the license plate and put the sticker on. Uh, so that is done. So what we're gonna do is move on to installing the headlights, and then we'll move on to installing that uh, fog light bar to that piece. So we'll do that now. So here is the clear lens. And then here is the chrome piece that you need to put this into. Now just n make a note that the way this goes in, um, it needs to go in the right way. There is a directional thing to it. I mean, you can see the look of that light, that the, the way it's designed. So there is a right way and a, a wrong way. Um, and the other thing is to note that the top piece, the little notch is at the top which means you know that that's the right way that it goes on, but you also need to make sure that you've got this right. And you can see there that there's a little notch to, that goes up on the right-hand side, um, and the little logo's at the bottom, which is hard to tell, but it is there. And this one's actually pretty easy to do. You just snap it in, and there you go. So that's one headlight done. And then all it is is a matter of putting it into the slot. And you can see that that's how it's gonna look. And then we're gonna actually just screw it into the back, which you can see using these little screws right here. So we'll just screw that on. screwdriver and 
And there we go. There's one headlight. So I'll go ahead and put the other one on and then we'll put the roll bar on. Okay, so there is the finished headlight installation. So it's done. So now what we're gonna do is move on to the fog light bar, which we're gonna screw in to the bottom of this. So I'll do that and we'll come back and take another look at it. Okay, so there is the finished installation of the fog light bar. So that is now on the front end. So we're going to move on to step 37, which is, is attaching the front mask and then installing the glass as well. So I'll just pull all together the, um, all the screws and we'll start building this part. Okay, so here we go. The front is now attached with the screws in behind and then we also have the glass. So that is now in and we can move on to step 38 which is attaching more of the body parts. So in step 38, attaching some of the body parts, you can see that there are the tail lights, uh, which also have to be painted. And then you've got the license plate um, and then this little cover thing that goes over the plate. Now, those are the screws, washers uh, that we're gonna need for this step. And then it shows these two O-rings. Well, I gotta tell you, I don't see anything in this step requiring o-rings so unless somebody out there has seen something different i don't see any reason for those i mean that has to be glued on to the body then we have these they're glued on that's glued on uh, that's glued in and then these are going on by the screws and washers so i've already pulled them together and i'm waiting on some paint but i'm going to put this all together anyway and i'll i'll finish it off when it's on the body so I'll just put those on and then we'll move on. But again, I don't see any reason why that we need O-rings for this step. Okay, so for Albert Attaboy, I uh, decided, I mean, it tells you, you know, color it how you like. I decided with this color combination. Uh, so he's got the sort of a brown leather steering wheel, uh, the blue belts, the silver buckles, and I've even painted his eyes, as you can see in there. So that is Albert Attaboy. Um, it's not the greatest paint job. I can see that there's some errors. It's really, really finicky. Uh, but I actually quite like the look of this. So I'm, I'm happy with this. So it's ready. Now, obviously the next step here was to decal the body. Well, I couldn't wait. I mean, I had to go through different paint coats for this so I have actually already deckled the body so here we go here is the monster beetle uh, with all of the decals on uh, and I've got the Bugsy plate all glued on uh, the front uh, you can see Bugsy at the front and the uh, fog lights but I think this looks really really good so there's your body. I need to now attach uh, Albert here. And then I'm gonna move on and get the mirrors and everything ready to go for 40. So technically 38 is done. Um, oh, that was the other thing. As I mentioned, I was going to attach them. I have, I'll paint them when the uh, colors arrive uh, and you know finish them up, up properly. Uh, and then we've done 30, step 39 so that's done and this was interesting too. see the uh, there was a sticker and it says apply sticker to cover the hole which you can see I've done there was a sticker to cover the front hole now I'm not totally sure why there was another hole there to begin with um, so that's covered it up but anyway so we'll move on to step 40 now which is attaching um, and getting the mirrors in place and then I will also at the same time go back to installing uh, the wipers and Albert. Okay, so for step 40, 
We've got the body pins that we're going to be putting in and then these are the side mirrors and we need the o-rings and I need to cut two of these little pieces which I've done to size based on the little diagram uh, and then put them together and then the o-rings will attach so that those mirrors will be held on. So I'll go ahead and put the mirrors together and then we'll install them on the on the car. Okay so I've managed to put the mirrors together um, but you'll notice that when it comes off the parts tree you you get the burbs which means it's bringing it's taking the chrome plating off well I have one of these which is a chrome paint marker which is awesome because if you see how this is gonna work Voila. So there's no, you know, obviously the red plastic, you can't even see. It's gone right back to chrome again. So these paint markers are awesome. So I'll do the other one um, and show you again. I'll get, it's kind of hard to see through the lens, so I'm just leaning over the edge of it here. But you can see. And there you go. So once it dries up, it's going to it'll it'll just look like the rest of the chrome. So these are really really handy for just small jobs when you need a bit of chrome. So I'm really liking these. So anyways, I'll just wait a little bit for this to dry and then I'll attach these to the body um, as you can see with the little o-rings. So you'll also see in step 40 that in terms of the side mirrors, it says once attached to body, side mirror parts cannot be detached. Attach only if model is for display purposes. Well, this is not going to be just for display purposes, but I would prefer to have the mirrors on than not. Now, I can tell that when you push those in, you, the body kind of flexes a bit and then it snaps into place. Like that's permanent. I can't, I'll, I can't take that out. And you can see that it shows putting in one of the O-rings um, and sliding it over the end. So once you have um, it through the body, you're going to take that O-ring and squish it over the top, which is going to make it a lot more solid and that gives it some flex so you can see that this will this will bend a bit because the o-rings holding it on but honestly obvi obviously if this if this you know rolls or gets knocked it's going to snap off but i would much rather have the mirror on than leave it off because you can see like i've put the wipers on i've put the the volkswagen emblem on the hood I think that looks really cool with the mirrors. And I mean, on the box art, you can see that there's no mirrors. There isn't even a hole for it. So in some ways they're intending for you not to have it, but I'm putting them on. So I'll go ahead and put on the other mirror. Okay, so the other mirror is on, uh, but what you can see is, you can see the top of uh, Albert Attaboy's head, and that is because I am now gluing it down. So all there's a little groove uh, between the plastic, so it's meant to help seal it. So it is now just gonna sit there like that for a bit so that I can get it uh, you know, nice and tight and it dries. And we are ready to put the body onto the car and put the pins on. So I'm just going to wait a bit more and, and then we'll go ahead and do that.